Hey now, TV Ben here. We're going to do a review today on the Retron 5. Picked this one up recently. This has been out for a couple of years, but I wanted to have a solution to be able to capture things uh, and play in HDMI. So this will do 1080p. It plays a number of systems and a few more with a few accessories that you can buy that we'll talk about in just a moment. But for right now, let's look at what this thing has. It's got a bunch of cartridge slots. It's actually got controller ports that will allow you to play with any type of controller for any game. So you could use an NES controller for a Genesis. You wouldn't have enough buttons and vice versa. Genesis for NES, SNES for Genesis. The possibilities are endless. And if we take a look at the back side here, then we've got a slot for an SD card, uh, HDMI output, a USB, and the AC adapter. And on the front, the power switch, and it says Game Boy Advance, but you can also do Game Boy Color and Game Boy in there. So let's get into the menu here. So you've got a lot of image filter options, which I'm not really a fan of any of them. I just want it to look original, but a lot of them are smoothing options. You can also go in and turn scan lines on or off to make it look more like a CRT, which I do like that. And you can have it in the menu there, so you can actually kind of preview it. Aspect ratio, leave normal. Display over scan, not really something you'd want to do either. And you can force original resolution of the games and also the refresh rate according to the region the game is from. Uh, there's some audio enhancements. I turned them all on. I really couldn't tell much difference other than a little bit of more bass. And like we were saying before, uh, there is a bunch of controller options, and they also include a controller that is Bluetooth in the box, but it's pretty much garbage. So you're going to plan on using whatever your favorite controller is from the classic systems that would have enough buttons to be able to do what you need to do in the games. And speaking of games, let's go over what this system can play. NES, Famicom. SNES, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Genesis, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Genesis, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, and the Master System via the Power Base Converter if you buy the add-on for that. So all these games and many, many more can be played on this system, no problem. So let's go through a few of them and see how they look. So first off, let's start with Ghouls and Ghosts for the Sega Genesis. I think this looks fantastic on this system and especially on an HD TV. So the neat thing with this system is you can apply a lot of cheat codes with that SD card slot on the back. The Retron 5 website actually has the file you can download and load onto that SD card and you can go into the menu and select what cheats you want. It's not like the Game Genie where you're having to type in different codes and you know having a code book or looking them up on the internet. They're right there in the menu of the Retron. Uh, so I really do like the on-screen display options. To get to the on-screen display, you're gonna hit down and start, and that will take you to that menu where you can get in and out of cheats, or you could change any of your filter options. But uh, a nice little bit of possibilities here with what you can do, and you know, especially on a game that's as difficult as Ghouls and Ghosts. So let's move over to the NES now, and let's use Super Mario Brothers 3 as an example. We played with some more cheats here. I am very familiar with a lot of the cheats for Super Mario Bros. 3. I had a Game Genie pretty much when they came out. So this one starts off with the first three levels beaten. And then there were some other little ones I was playing around with, so we're cutting around. Uh, there's one, I think the one I'm using here, I couldn't be killed by touch. There was another one that really caused uh, some interesting glitches. And this one here was pretty interesting. It was a god mode cheat, so you couldn't die, but it was still giving you the answer animation and the music that you had died. So neat stuff. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so Super Mario Brothers 2, the Japanese version that's on the Super Mario Brothers All-Stars cart for the Super Nintendo. So again, no problems here using the Super Nintendo controller. This system is playing it just fine. Even my save games on the cart were pulled in. So the system can handle anything we've thrown at it. Let's throw a Game Boy game at it just for one final test. So a neat thing here, it does apply a limited color palette to the Game Boy games, so they're just not monochrome, and it plays it just fine. Sound, music, uh, controls, everything, just as you would expect. So pretty impressed with the Retron 5 at this point. Uh, we're going to have to do some more tests with some other games in the future, but for now, gets a thumbs up from me. So with that, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, I've got some games I've got to go play. Until next time, it's TV Ben. Thanks for watching.